you know, the music production has has evolved. It has become a, like just a, even the, the the frequency spectrum. When you listen to a really like I was talking about Doctor Feelgood, if you listen to Doctor Feelgood now, it still holds up. But there, there's so much more bottom end and low frequencies in music now. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the speaker systems, even a cheap speaker system, can reproduce that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, radio isn't as, you know, music's not listened to on AM radio anymore. Right. FM, satellite, Spotify, stuff like that. So, the the playback systems have become a lot better. Sure. I don't want to say better, but the less limited from a from a bandwidth standpoint yes. you've got more frequencies to play with yes. so um <laughs> you know you, you listen to like something i always get somebody just comes into a studio we go into a, a, a big live sounding room we're getting drum sounds what do you want your drum sound i want them to sound big and john bonham we're like okay cool i get that and i'm a, I'm a big fan of that sound mm -hmm. but if you put that up next to anything it sounds big because it's live and it's very compressed and has that big sound, but there's not a lot of bottom end in any Led Zeppelin record yeah. at all. It just doesn't, it's not there. Whereas now there's bottom end in everything. Even oh, yeah. thin sounding recordings have a ton of bottom end, a ton of top end. So the, just the frequency spectrums change to where you, I take that into account because you might want it to sound modern. Right. Or it might be something different where you take a band who's always had a very hi-fi sound and they say, you know what, we don't want to, we don't want to sound like an 80s rock band with top end that just mm -hmm. extends for days and like just big snare drums. We want it to sound a little more indie or alternative. Sure. And then you figure out a way to, okay, well, how do we make this, for lack of a better term, sound kind of shitty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I, I can see that. It's good, to, it's good to be aware of what the band or the artist wishes to sound like, especially in a situation like that where they have had multiple sounds yeah. and now we're kind of in this like, awesome spot where we have so many more frequencies to use even can, though we really don't it's just you can do the whatever you want. of the medium has now expanded yeah so now we're kind of free to do a little bit more and that includes kind of limiting yourself back to what it used to be sometimes yeah and i'm, I'm very uh, you know uh, i'm i take into consideration where you know a certain band might fit in the spectrum of what's out there as sure. well um, I take that into consideration because I listen to mainstream music. It's what I like. I like mm -hmm. the sound of, of pop music and, and, you know, modern and active rock and all the, what I like to listen to is a certain sound. So, um, and it happens to be what's more mainstream than not. So, you know, I, I've been in scenarios where you'll take a band where the sound is almost like it just makes itself and it's so appropriate for their style of music or the song or the attitude of the band. And they try very, very hard to just steer it in the opposite direction. And mm -hmm. no matter what you do, it doesn't work. Yeah. And at some point back. you're like, why are we fighting this? You mm -hmm. guys are supposed to sound like. This is what you sound like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if you're, you know, and, and I just use, I use references because they're references. So right. if I say you sound like Pantera, that doesn't, that's not a bad thing. I, th I think it's an awesome thing. But, yeah. and, but I just use that as a reference because it's a, it's a way to gauge kind of where you're at on mm -hmm. the scale. You don't sound like Celine Dion. You sound like Pantera. Mm -hmm. So let's, you know, stop, so try, stop yeah. trying to sound like Celine Dion. Well, yeah, I mean that, that's obviously like the, the, you know, the of wide course, end of, 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 the, of the spectrum. But I'm yeah. sure there's an artist out there that probably does have that in their mind. You know, all right, yeah. I'm going to go from here to this one instead. Yeah. I'm going to make that huge pivot. Yeah, I mean, um, I've, I've worked with a couple bands recently that, you know, the sound is just it's like rock radio, mm -hmm. rock radio, and they want to make it sound so not rock radio <laughs> and I'm like I get it yeah. I mean maybe, you know maybe there's some credibility that they think they, they need to sound a certain way it can't sure. sound like you know I don't know but uh, you know and we will I'll go down that journey with them mm -hmm. but at the end of the day sometimes it's like the song and the style of the music and the way the band plays mm -hmm. and and kind of what's going on at that particular time is what makes the sound 